Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Wargo and I am back in the kitchen for a brand new episode of Forkin' Around, a show where the jokes are bad and the cooking comes second. And today I'm going to be learning how to make, from scratch, corn tortillas. That's right, I kind of rolled my R there, just a little bit. Not to brag or nothing, but some, something I can do. Tortillas. Don't, don't make fun of me. I'm, I'm trying my best here, okay? Why don't we just all get hungry? So I just decided this afternoon to make my homemade corn tortillas from scratch because this afternoon I'm planning to make these amazing fish tacos which are going to be on the next video and I was like, I wonder how hard it is to make corn tortillas from scratch. And when I looked it up, it didn't sound that hard. I mean, I'm using maseca. I'm not gonna make the maize from scratch. Like that's a whole process. I'm not sure how to do that. I'd love to learn, but that's not today. So I got this maseca and apparently all you need is this and some water and just some of this action. That's me like kneading the dough. And then we just briefly heat them up in a pan and like boom, 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 apparently that's it. Now I was reading comments of people and they were like, it's not that easy. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm glad you're here. We're gonna give this a try. I didn't buy backup tortillas. I should have now that I'm thinking about it, but I did not. So this has got to work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a one and three quarter cup maseca. So one cup, boom, and that's three quarter ish cup. Great. And then we're just gonna add a little water kind of as we go. I don't know if I, I know I need to use my hand eventually, but like, should I start with my hand or should I kind of stir this in first like this? Spoon's going away. We're going with the hand. Some people said to use like warm water, but some people didn't. So I really, I'm not really sure. Like there's probably just a bunch of different ways to do this. And you know, what's right for you might, might not be right for somebody else. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be right for me. And the texture we want is something like, not goopy, but not hard. And they said to knead it for like, I don't know, like five minutes or seven minutes. All right, I am really hoping that this is the right consistency, <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, go long. Go, go, go. It's food, it's not for play. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take them and like roll them into little balls. I really don't know how thick or thin, but I'm gonna try that. All right, guys, I don't have a tortilla presser obviously, but they said online you can just use two flat things and it, it might work. So that's what I'm gonna try. I got this, I got this. I'm gonna just, you know, try and make them go. So I've got plastic wrap there and, I, and I'm gonna cover the top with plastic too, okay? And then what we're gonna do, move this over, and we're gonna just gently Press down. See what happens. That's kind of small. Maybe it'll go further? Because otherwise it's gonna be too small. That's a small one. I, I, I need them bigger. I don't, I don't, it's not, and it's got like a weird thing to it. Like a weird shape. See what I mean? It's like not quite a taco. Well, that's, that's one, that's one, okay? Maybe some of these bigger ones will be better. So, I don't even know what to do with it. I don't even know what to do with it. I'm not deterred. I'm gonna do another one. This one's a little bigger. Let's see how that goes. Saran wrap, boom. Here we go.
Oh, that looks better. But that looks nice. I wish they were bigger. They still need to be bigger for fish tacos, I think. It's gonna be okay. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Yeah, I think you should definitely have a tortilla maker or like a tortilla press. That was obvious. So now what we're going to do is we're getting our pan to a medium heat and then we're gonna put those on there. 30 seconds flip, 30 seconds flip, and then hopefully the inside starts kind of bubbling up. That's the plans. All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna flip our first flip. It's gonna, and we're gonna, oh, here we go, hold on. We're doing 30 seconds on this side now, and now we're flipping back to side one, and then we want it to start like bubbling up. So you just kind of, I guess, hit it. You can like kind of poke it with your fingers. It's not bubbling. A little, is that? I feel like I just look like an idiot. I don't know. And that's supposed to be it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Duh. Duh, Daniel. It feels incredible. I'm just gonna put it right in the tortilla maker. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll just keep making tortillas. But I'm gonna try this bad boy. <laughs> Let's see how we do. That's pretty good. That's delicious. Mmm. That's a tortilla. I'm like, was I supposed to put salt in there? I don't think I was, but like, I, it could use it. Maybe that's just when I get everything together. It'll, <clears throat> oh, it's in my throat. All right, tortillas. Well, I made you, and I'm really excited to eat these with a fish taco, so make sure you don't miss that video. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Well, actually, I'm gonna keep filming because I got more stuff to do, but I'm gonna stop this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day in the universe. Eat a cookie.